everybody, I'm Allie, and this is part two of my YNR chat vlog for Sunday, June 7th. And is it even possible that Ashley is not going to lose this baby? She's under so much stress. And evil Adam this week went so far as to put on a dress and a wig and walk around the mansion whispering Ashley's name. He chases her down the staircase and causes her to fall. I can't even believe that he did that. Well, guess what, Adam? Ashley saw your face right before she fell. So I hope that she runs back, tells Victor, and kicks your butt to the curb. I mean, come on, what what did he think was gonna happen? He, he almost looked surprised well, like he didn't mean for her to actually fall because he kind of reached out for her as she fell um, and then he runs to the bottom of the stairs and he's like, oh great, this wasn't in my plan. Well, what did you think was going to happen, Adam? You're messing around with her life. She's obviously very fragile. Oh, you don't mind if she goes insane and loses the baby, but it's some big moral dilemma for you if she falls down the stairs? It was just not... This is just not good. This is not the kind of Adam that I like to see. I saw some blood on Ashley's white robe, and I'm, I'm not sure if that was from um, her fall or if that has to do with the baby, but I just don't see how she's not going to miscarry. Uh, maybe Nikki, who is pounding at the door as a Friday show, maybe she will burst in and catch Adam in the act and get Ashley some help. Speaking of babies, this week Lily gave Kane a baby making calendar gift. I'm okay. <laughs> no, I actually like Lily and Kane, but it almost made me sick that she went through, found out what day she was ovulating, got a calendar, and circled in hearts the days that she was going to want to try to make a baby. I mean, yeah. There's nothing more exciting than scheduled sex, right? Yeah, baby, sign me up. Well, this week, Billy admitted to Chloe that the baby Sharon is carrying might actually be his. Why did you tell her that, Billy? Why? She did not even need to know that information. And then Sharon blurts out to Chloe that she was with her husband on the morning of their wedding. <gasps> Chloe's reaction was priceless. It was beyond priceless. Ugh. And then Sharon, this she basically said something to Chloe like this. Well, Chloe, sometimes people do things that they don't mean. Like Chloe was a three-year-old, basically trying to explain it to her the way she would explain it to Noah. It was awful. I don't know how Sharon can even show her face after that. What a thing of all things to blurt out. I mean, come on, it was a secret. You should definitely not assume when, when, when a wife tells you that her husband told her everything, don't assume that it's everything. He's a guy and he's Billy. Ugh. Gosh, I gotta tell you, for the first time in ages, I was on Chloe's side all week. Daniel has gotten himself into some deep, deep trouble. I knew that that guy was not FBI. I knew it immediately. The moral of the story here is never trust the government. <laughs> well, Kevin and Amber had their uh, adventure, I suppose, and so now it's Jana and Daniel's turn to have this art adventure, and I think that Daniel's gonna get himself really, really deep into this, possibly even get kidnapped or something, and then Jana is gonna be the one to save him. Um, and I think, I, I, I mean, I don't really like this, but I feel like we're headed towards kind of a, a partner swap here. I can definitely see a Daniel and Jana and Kevin and Amber hookup happening soon. You know, I'm very happy to say that Victor finally apologized to Nikki for all of the horrible things he said and did to her um, around the time of Sabrina's death, accusing Nikki of being responsible for Sabrina's death. I feel like that conversation was long overdue, and we needed that. I needed that. Um, my 
my question is, does this have anything to do with the rumors that uh, Melody Thomas Scott is being written off the show because of a contract dispute? I have no idea. I love casting updates, so please never be afraid to post casting updates because, I mean, you know I don't like spoilers, but casting updates, yes. And I need to know, is Melody Thomas Scott leaving the show? I looked around to try to find some articles, but I didn't find any, any so I'm wondering if anybody has any evidence please post me a link or or send me a message or something but let me know if this is true and finally I just wanted to say thank you to everybody who responded about potentially doing a podcast I think that would be a fabulous idea I would love to get some other people into the mix and have more of a conversation about liner um, so everybody that responded that they'd be interested I wrote your name down and I'm keeping it I'm still looking into it I don't know the first thing about doing a podcast and if anyone out there knows somebody who um, is a producer or has experience in this area and would be willing to help out out, um, definitely send me a message and let me know. But um, I'm not sure how long it would take to get all of that together, but I am looking into somehow, some way, making this a little bit more interactive. I was also thinking about maybe getting a call-in number so that at least you guys could like call and leave me messages and I could play them and then kind of respond to stuff. So that would kind of be an alternative to the podcast if we can't get that up and going right away. But I am thinking about it, I am researching it, and I will definitely keep you updated. Okay, well those are my thoughts about this crazy week in YNR. Don't be shy, leave me a comment or make your own video and let me know what your thoughts are on the show for this week. I am going to be back next Sunday at the same time for another round of videos and I look forward to talking to you guys then. So check out my website at buttonhead.org and I will see you guys next week. Bye!